Alright guys, just got level 40 fletching. With that, I can move on to Willow Longbows. Now the issue here is, do I make half bows or full bows? I currently have, let's take a look, 2.2k uh, Willow Logs. Now I think if I were to do full bows, including bowstrings, that would be enough. But, it's gonna take forever to pick all the flax, so... I don't know, honestly, I'll try and figure out what's gonna be faster. Why did I just type in blow? What is going through my mind? Uh, okay, just pretend I didn't do that. So I took a look, I currently have 440 bowstrings, so I could either pick an extra thousand flax and turn them into bowstrings, or I could chop an extra thousand logs, and I'm thinking the logs might have to be faster, so let's go train some wood chop chop. Just got level 50 fletching, well on our way to 55. Uh, I just thought I'd quickly mention, there is some strange gathering of like, free to play people on this world. Look, look at this stack. I mean, most notably, there's a person named Vag Muncher. I mean, that just makes me happy, but, like, holy crap. Hey, there we go. There is 55 Fletching. You can now make broad bolts. Now, I actually have never done this before. I, as far as I'm aware, you can just straight up buy the supplies to make the bolts from the, uh, the Slayer Masters. Hopefully, it's not too expensive, so I'm gonna head over there quick and make myself some bolts. After that, it is time to start making some supplies. I'm thinking pineapple pizzas. Uh, and I'm gonna show you guys how I'm making those, I guess, maybe. Just a quick tip for those of you that may, you know, be playing on Iron Man. And uh, I'll give you guys a cool way to get some, uh, high-level food really, really easily. This just in, I am a fucking idiot. Oh my god. I accidentally- okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna explain this to you, and I am probably far from the first person to do this. So you go to trade this dude, right? And all I needed to buy was unfinished broad bolts and put arrows on them. Well, I mistook unfinished broad bolts for, like, needing to add the heads. I didn't read properly because these are arrow heads and not bolts and... Damn it, I just wasted, like, a hundred plus thousand coins on arrow heads. Oh, well, you live and you learn. So I think this method is well known by most Iron Men, is you go to the uh, Warrior Guild food shop and you buy potatoes with cheese, because they heal 16 a piece, but one other really cool thing you can do is buy these plain pizzas. They only sell 5 at a time, so they take a while to stock up, but what you should do is buy these plain pizzas alongside of the potatoes with cheese, throw them in the bank, and then what you need to do is cut up some pineapples. So once you get your pineapples, you actually can cut them into slices. I thought you had to dice them just based on the appearance of pineapples, or well, pineapple pizzas. But you can actually uh, put them into rings like this, which gives you three times the amount. So for example, if you put them into chunks, it gives you one per pineapple. But every time you put it into like slices like this, it gives you three per. So you can actually do this really, really quickly, and then you just combine the two. And then you have food that heals 22 hit points per slot, which is... Pretty damn impressive for the amount of effort required. Well, my friends, it is time for the Fire Cape. This is the setup I'm going to go with. This seems to be the best overall idea. Um, one thing you might question is the DH play legs. So I was kind of thinking, there's a lot of phases where you have to pray mage and tank the ranger. And I figured, if I bring a DH leg switch, that is going to help me a lot in tanking those rangers. And obviously I'm giving them a, a, like a slot of food. But in my eyes, these are going to save me well over 22 hit points, which a pizza would give me, so I think it's a good idea to bring these. At any rate, if we do fail, it's all good. You live and you learn. Wish me luck, boys. Let's go get that fire cape. Alright, my friends, we are here on wave number 63. <laughs> Hi, Josh. Not now. <laughs> um, we've got two and a half prayer potions left, so we're doing pretty good on prayer. Um... Naturally, I'm pretty nervous, so... I was telling my chat earlier, including fight kills for EOC, I probably, like, pray flick kill Jad about 500 times, so... If I die, I'm probably gonna cry. Oh, God. I don't see him to the left, so I'm gonna run out. <gasps> yeah, okay, that helps me a lot. That helps me a lot. Alright, here we go, boys. All right, Jordan, focus up, boy. Focus up. You got this. This is easy peasy.
I'm so close, I can feel it in my tenderloins. We're almost there! One more big hit. Come on. One more big hit. It's magic again. I'm just waiting for the XP drop. Oh, that's not it. He's not dead yet. Come on. Is that it? Woo! Let's go, boys! There it is! First try, Fire Cape! Butter my biscuits! Woo! Guys, world 344. Let's go. Everybody get here. Let's go. Woo! First try, Fire Cape on the Iron Man. With. Do I get a Jad pet? Oh, you. You mother, you got me so bad. I thought I got a pet. Holy crap. You got me so bad, dude. All right, guys, there it is. Gamble for pet, not a chance. There it is. There is the fire cape completed. Took us a, a little bit over two hours to complete. We have been working towards the goal for a long time, so I am so happy to finally have this bad boy. Seriously, though, shout out to all of you guys for coming here to celebrate. I'm so happy, guys. This is a really big goal, so the fire cape is done. The real question is, what do we move on to from this? Honestly, I don't know, but I'll probably talk about it in a little bit. Alright, well, now that we have a fire cape, my next goal in mind is to finish off getting 61 crafting. Now, I want to do this because not only will it allow me to do lunar diplomacy, but I also have an elite clue scroll that requires me to go to Lunar Island, so... Even more, I guess, reason to do so. Uh, I need to get about 1,800 buckets of sand and soda ash. So, I'm kind of getting there, about halfway done with this, so... Hopefully this whole crafting thing doesn't take too much longer. After that, though, I'm thinking kind of long-term here. Um, past finishing that quest, I would like to get a quest cape relatively soon. Now, I'm actually not that far off. I think I'm, I don't know, give or take, like... 40 quest points away, and I've looked it up, and there is a good amount of skills that I'm going to have to get if I want to get a quest cape. Most annoyingly, I think I have to get like 60 rune crafting and stuff like that, so um, I guess long-term goal is definitely to get a quest cape, although the skills required is really going to suck. Okay, so I took a break from actually buying the stuff. I mean, I can only I can only handle hopping for so long, so I took a break and made myself some molten glass. I currently have 1,300 I'm gonna make these all into orbs, it won't quite give me 61, but it'll get me pretty close, so... I'll be back in a little bit, hopefully with some crafting gains. Holy shit! This is my first time seeing the Abbey Demon, or the Abbey Sire Pet. That is huge! What? How do they... Look at this thing! Look at the Hellhound, or sorry, Cerberus next to it. Wow, that thing is massive. Okay, so I went ahead and blew all the molten glass that I had, and we're up to 1739, uh, pretty close to 60 crafting, so all I have to do is buy a little bit more, then we can uh, finish off 61 crafting. Oh my god, they're freaking back. I don't know who these people are, but they are amazing. <laughs> the one of us guys are back, oh god. Okay, well, we're gonna go ahead and take a break for a little bit with this whole crafting thing. I'm gonna do some barrows, and then we'll finish it off. Okay, first Barrow's Chest of the Night. I forget which one we're on right now, but... Okay, 141. That is a dick ton of death runes. Well, I suppose we'll set a goal of 150 for the night. Good luck, gents. Yes! Let's fucking go! Gothen's Helm! Yes, boys! Oh my god! Oh my god! Chest 148, we get our third Gothen's piece. Oh my god! Let's go, dude. Let's freaking go. Oh, man. I'm calm. I'm fine. I'm calm. I'm not even freaking out. Not even freaking out. Um, That is three out of four guns pieces. All we have left is the spear in 148 chests. <laughs> Holy crap. I'm sure you all hate me so much. I, Wow, I am so excited, man. Well, we just got the Guthans Helm. I just made a deal with one of my viewers. If I get a Guthan Spear back to back right now, I will gamble my fire cape. After I have a, you know, an aneurysm, of course, you know, but anyway, here we go. The fire cape is safe another day. Nice. Holy shit! <laughs> what is my luck tonight? Oh my god. We get a Carol skirt on chest 150. 
I now have... I'm not even recording this! I'm gonna have to take it all oh. Why would I not be recording? I'm gonna have to take part of the stream highlight. Oh my god. Carol's skirt, chest 150. Holy crap. So we now have the Carol's top and bottom, and we also have three out of four Gotham's pieces. This has been the best night of Barrows on this account, I swear to god. Well, now I have to do another chest because you gotta try for the back to back. Okay, so this is actually probably the last loot, assuming... I mean, if I get another one, then I have to keep going, but... Probably the last one. Good luck, guys. Okay, there we go. So we did 11 barrels chest tonight. We got our Guffin's Helm and a Carol skirt, which I kind of didn't record. That is freaking insane. Barrows, I love you. I love you, as always. Okay, went ahead and bought the rest. All I needed was 500 more of these bad boys so we can finally make these into orbs and get ourselves 61 crafting. And then it is time for Lunar Diplomacy. Alright, there it is at long last, guys. There is 61 crafting completed. Crafting is an awful skill as an Iron Man, and you can you can definitely re like relate to this if you're an Iron Man. It wouldn't be that bad if there weren't like 10 Iron Men that are always constantly trying to buy crafting stuff. It just makes it disgusting, so... There we go, guys. There is 61 crafting. Um, I did take a look. I can go ahead and do Dream Mentor right away, too. So we're going to go and knock out Lunar Diplomacy as well as Dream Mentor. Okay, we are finally on Lunar Isle. It took me approximately 40 minutes to get to this, sta like this stage of the quest. I am the slowest quester on this game. Look at this cutscene. Hi, Kibu. Thanks for being in the bank and ruining this for me, you dickweed. Holy shit! This man right here is an Iron Man. Third Age range top, kite shield, full helm, untrimmed HP. Every Iron Man should aspire to be this dude. That's actually insane. And he just told me he's done 395 hearts. Three pieces of Third Age. <laughs> what? Guys? Cute girl XO just said, Mammal, would you date me? <laughs> okay, at long last, there is Lunar Diplomacy completed. We can now move on with our Elite Clues Scroll. However, first, I am going to do Dream Mentor. But there we go, guys. We can now access the... Uh, Holy shit! I just got a bunch of runecrafting levels. That's nice. Anyway, we can now access the uh, Lunar Spellbook. I don't really have a whole lot of spells unlocked at my level, but hey, it's there. I love this quest so much because, like, when I was a little kid, I did this and I was so jealous. This dude is loaded. These 594 NRs are like, what? But seriously, this guy is freaking loaded for an NPC. It made me freak out when I was a little kid. Okay, there we go. There is Wet Dream Mentor completed. Got a bunch more XP from that one and a dreamy lamp. Uh, what can? What do you want? Well, Christ, I want to rub you, obviously. I, I'm going to assume I can put this on a combat skill or something like that. Oh goodness, what do I put it on? Um, uh, give me a second to think about this. I don't know what to do. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put it on magic because that will level me up. I think. Nice, just got level 74 magic as well. Okay, so, now that Dream Mentor is completed, we can now do Nightmare Zone at a much more efficient rate, because those boss monsters you unlock are really good, so I'll be doing that in a little bit to imbue my Slayer Helm. But first, we have that Elite Clue Scroll still in the bank that I can now move on with. Hopefully we can finish it all. Alright, step number three, pl please tell me I can do this. Hey... Wait, can I go to Lieta? What quest do you have to do to get there? Fuck's sake! Okay, I think all I have to do is start Morning's End Part 1, right? Okay, I'm gonna go start that then. Okay, so... I'm kind of stuck with the decision here. Um, I needed to complete the quest Roving Elves in order to do my Elite Clue Scroll. Now, I've got a bit of a dilemma here. I overall, the shield is gonna help me a shit ton. Crystal Shield is going to help me a lot at DKs and stuff, but also, I need the bow for an Achievement Diary, and if I get the bow, it's going to save me 900k. But ultimately, I'm going to end up getting both. It's still going to cost me money, 
Overall, the shield can be much more useful at the moment. The bow, it'll be useful at some point, but not right now. So, you know what? I'm not even... I just talked it out of my head. Give me the shield. Beautiful. Okay, guys. There is the Roving Elves quest completed. Had to do that. And now we have a great shield. I'm going to go ahead and imbue this pretty soon as well at the end of this episode. Okay, finish the quest. Now on to the next step of the clue. Please be good. This is in Neve's dungeon, I think. Oh no! Show this to Sherlock. I'm pretty sure that there's not a single Sherlock clue that I can actually do. I mean, maybe, but I highly doubt it. Oh, please give me something good. Yes, I can do that! Let's go! Alright, here we go on to the next step. I can do this! Oh, I'm getting so excited, actually. A wreck, you say? Or any ghosts? And I can do yet another one. Holy shit. <sighs> Moment of truth. I got a bad vibe about this one. I got a bad vibe. I can do this! Oh my god! We might actually get this done today! Check steps. What am I on? Eight? Oh my. Not Christmas? Oh god, but it's so good. This, I think this is step eight. I think you can get rewards anywhere from 8 to 12, so... Please? Oh, no. Where is that? It's not popping up, so I think I've... Oh, I can go there! Oh! RuneScape Gods, please. Just, okay. Alright. RuneScape Gods, just make me happy. Give me my third age log sword. No! No! Son of a bitch! <sighs> oh, I don't think I can do that. I'm so upset. <laughs> no! <laughs> God damn it. Oh. Let me see what quest I have to do first. Well, guys, I am absolutely determined to do this Elite Clue Scroll, so I just finished Inserts of the Minor Q. Next, we're going to do an aid. Which will then allow me to start the Hollow Veil quest, and then we can move on with the clue scroll. Oh goodness, there is the in. <laughs> what did I just say? <clears throat> there we go. There is in aid of the Myra Q completed. I have no idea if I'd say it wrong. I've heard Myra Q, Myra Key. I have no idea. It doesn't really matter. That quest is extremely annoying. So thank God that is over with. Now at this point, I don't know which quest it is exactly. It's something to do with Meyer Ditch. Hopefully I can do my clue scroll now. Okay. Drum roll, please. I gotta... I actually gotta do this for real. YouTube.com. Drum roll. Okay. I'm a little okay, okay. okay. I'm, uh, I'm I'm a little upset. <laughs> Four hours later of questing, I'm a little upset. I okay. I'm gonna contain this. Okay. I'm not gonna let my inner hill giant rage come out. At least we got a lot of quests done. It was very good for the account, but fuck that clue. Okay, so I just woke up. Time for some Nightmare Zone. I'm gonna go ahead and imbue this Crystal Shield. It's basically free. I don't know why they made it so inexpensive, but obviously not gonna complain. So, there's a Crystal Shield imbued. That'll be really nice for dagging off the Rex in the future. Next, however, I do need to do some more of this. I have to get 1.2 million points, so definitely gonna be a bit of a grind, but hopefully we can finish this off pretty quickly. Man, I am so glad I waited to do Dream Mentor. Earlier, I was doing Nightmare Zone, like, last week. I was getting approximately 200k points per hour, it was awful, and now I just did Nightmare Zone for a couple hours, and as you can see, boom, 1.3 million points, let's go ahead and upgrade that Slayer Helm, that was actually so much fun, I'm not gonna lie, all throughout this Nightmare Zone run, I was listening to some super nostalgic music, I'm talking like, Right Round by Flo Rida, Buy You a Drank T-Pain, like, that was the music that I loved when I was like 12 years old, so... That was a good time, and there we go, there is finally the imbued Slayer Helm. So before I wrap up the episode, there's one thing I want to try out really quickly. I want to try out a money-making method. Now, making an Alking Battle Staves is a huge money-maker for Iron Men. Now, I currently can't make air Battle Staves. I kind of want to try the Earth method out, though, so I'm going to buy some Battle Staves here. 
Then I gotta go craft some cosmics and whatnot, and I just wanna give it a shot. We're gonna start off with 176k and see where we get. So as you can see, I can only make 24 Earth Battle Staffs because, well, because I'm pretty goddamn poor right now. But uh, the Battle Staffs themselves cost around 7.1k a piece, and they're alking for over 9k a piece, so it's at least 2k profit per. And I imagine once you can start buying in bulk, I, I could really see how getting a lot of cash isn't that difficult. So um, when I have more money, this will obviously be a lot more effective. But I just wanted to give it a shot at the end of the episode. Um, and I suppose it's probably a good time to go ahead and record the outro. Thank you all very much for watching the episode today. The progress made on this one was amazing. We got the fire cape and finally imbued our slayer helm. We got a lot of gains as far as total level goes as well. We're currently at uh, 1386. And also we did two very important quests and are now above 200 quest points. So honestly, I feel like the, uh, the quest cape's not too far off, so... Let me go ahead and finish up Alchemy's. Oh, I almost forgot as well the Barrows items. We got our third Barrows item. Or sorry, my third Guffins item, which is ridiculous. I mean, at this pace, I might have full Guffins in under, like, 300 chests, which is mind-blowing. So, anyways, there's all those Alks. So, we got, I don't know, roughly 50k profit or something like that, which is not bad at all. For the, like, a little amount of time that I did. Uh, cash stack is... I actually can't read that. That might be 35 mil. No, nope, there it is. Just about 34 mil. So we made about 4 more mil on this episode. And again, the gains were incredible, guys. Got that fire cape. Hope you all enjoyed today's episode. If you did, feel free to hit that like button down below. Keep showing me some awesome love, guys. I really appreciate it. And I will see you all later.